I'll get straight to the point. Stealth mode is available to Pro and Mega Plan, but we know that $60 a month is a bit pricey to some, but if you are planning to make money out of the generated images, it's worth paying extra bucks for stealth mode so others won't be able to access or download your images. To be honest, I'm already okay with unlimited relaxed generations because there are times that they just take the same amount of time to finish generating images. What I took advantage of more was the 12 concurrent fast jobs. The only way for me to maximize the allocated 30 hours of fast generations is through concurrent fast jobs. You can also take advantage of this if you are utilizing variations, zoom out, repeats, and permutations. To give you perspective on how many you can generate for 30 hours in fast mode, I consumed 29 hours of fast time in one month, and that generated approximately 3,400 images, which I based on my lifetime usage. Lifetime usage is a combination of fast and relaxed generations, but this number does not include version 5 upscales. These 3,000 plus fast generated images already consist of initial image grids, variations, remixes, etc. Now to switch from public to stealth mode, just type forward slash stealth then hit enter. If you'll check the settings, the public button is not selected. For the succeeding jobs, you'll notice on the generated grids the job mode and visibility mode. Instead of public, it will show stealth. If you type forward slash info, the info pop-up will show the visibility mode. My pro plan subscription just expired and I downgraded to basic plan just so I can still have access to member gallery. But when you're in stealth mode, it will show here stealth instead of public. By the way, just a reminder, generate images in your direct messages or on a private Discord server. Because according here, images generated in public channels are always visible to other users, even while using stealth mode. You can also see this information by asking MidJourneyBot about stealth. If you go to your midjourney.com feed and click on view as visitor, images generated in stealth mode will not be visible to other users. However, when they check your archive, they will be able to see these stealth images. So technically they are no longer stealth. That's why you need to unpublish them through archive before your pro plan expires. This unpublished feature is not available to lower tiers, only to pro and mega plans. I made this mistake, that's why I'm telling you so you won't commit the same mistake. Honestly, I don't understand Midjourney's logic here. Why require paid subscribers to make these additional steps to hide their stealth images everywhere when user already activated the stealth mode? I mean, the reason why pro plan subscribers want stealth mode is so others will not access or view the images generated, and they don't publish that warning. Now, if you're worried if your images will get deleted after your subscription expires, don't worry. You can still access and download them through the Discord app. But you can no longer access Archive in your Midjourney account to download all images or by batch. Even the Enable Select Mode feature here will be disabled. And since you will no longer have access to Member Gallery after your subscription expires, you can no longer view on the website the older images, only the latest ones, in my case, 1,751 initial image grids and 1,751 upscales. So make sure to download all your images here while your pro plan subscription is still active or else you have to download them one by one through Discord. I hope this video helps. Please consider subscribing. Cheers.